Nick, still gonna give me a few more deaths. <laughs> Don't hit me like that. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to the video. My name's Serenity Solo on the Axe and here we are with Laurel and Hardy episode 21. In the last episode, I don't know what to make of it. It seemed to be all a dream. It didn't really happen. I don't like that. I mean, none of these shows really carry over anyway, so they could have just made it actually work like that. They could have gone down the trapdoor at the end. The end. Not Laurel and Hardy, the other two that were doing it. I did like the murder mystery part of it. I thought it was going to be more like Clue, but unfortunately it wasn't. But I am enjoying this show as a whole. Really good, really funny. Bo Hunks is the least favourite one so far, but even that I just laugh out loud moments. If you're enjoying and you've subscribed or followed to me on Daily Motion or YouTube so far, thank you ever so much, I really do appreciate it. You're helping me out, you're helping my channel out, you're helping my mental health out, you honestly are. And to my Patreon members who get exclusive shows, which will be up on the screen right now because I keep forgetting them. 8 per month right now, going up to 12 per month late, later this year, as well as an extra day going to be added for long running shows, Dallas, Murder She Wrote, Things like that, that are done every four weeks, like the Monday and Friday shows on YouTube and Dailymotion, until those shows run out. And they also get ad-free and uncensored early access as well to all my shows on YouTube and Dailymotion. No bleeps, no blurs, completely uncensored, unless there's a triple X scene in, and then I'll have to censor it, I'm afraid, or cut it. But I'm not reacting to those kind of shows, and I won't accept, <laughs> accept suggestions for those kind of shows. So... With that, I want to thank them because it is you that is bringing the content to me that allows me to bring the content straight back to you. Thank you all ever so much. I love you lots, no matter what tier you are. So with that, I'll get on with the episode. I really don't understand why it put a Spanish one on this disc. I mean, did we need a Spanish one on this disc? Did it have extras in it? This is not the Spanish one. <laughs> Mr. Hardy told Mr. Lovell to meet him in the... Southern Pacific Station Wednesday morning. So Mr. Lovell went to the Santa Fe, or Santa Fe on Thursday afternoon. So I think Santa Fe is the place. I guess that's a hotel. Yep, why are they playing your theme song? Fourth wall. Happen to the music, man. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just stand still, I'll see ya. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. What? I heard New York City. Thank you. That's our train. What's your train? Hey, come on, the train's about to go now. 
You left half of it. Oh. Ow. Quick. <laughs> I'm gonna say, help him up. Well, we've lost the music. Now, what are we gonna do? We can fake it. Fake it. A good thing you didn't lose the fiddle, or we would be sunk. Sit down. I'll find the conductor. Hey! <laughs> what the idea? I'm awfully sorry, sir. He didn't see you. I can't trust you anyway. Get back to this. What are you trying to do? Where are you fellas going? We're going to Pottsville. Sit down. I'm the manager of this act. Let me see your ticket. Has it lost them? The music? Maybe not. Pottsville. What are you fellas going to do in Pottsville? What's it got to do with them? We had a big time vaudeville act. Well, I'll bet you're good. Something tells me that fiddle's not going to be intact by the end of this episode. Don't hit me like that. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and hi. Is everyone just going to be at each other's throats on this train by the end? Where are you going to sleep? I'm going to sleep up there, of course. Would you want him on the top we bunk? We can't get up there with this instrument. I don't care about this, but I'm the manager of the act. I'm I going to watch my fiddle. I'm not I don't care anything about it. Everything. There's people sleeping here. You'll have to keep quiet. I'm sorry. Good night. Good night. Good night. Excuse me, the baby's been noisy. Get up there and let's go to bed. Off 
thought there. he was on the top bunk. Oh well, he's only just realised. Someone on the bottom, is that what we were trying to tell him? Oh, they've both got a share on the top, really. They yeah, could have done with that before, Thank mate. You. Still tiny, still could have done me a few more steps. <laughs> No one on the bottom. Now lay down. Don't you hit me like that. I'll break your neck. Now hold my hand. Should I just try with the steps again? the bottom bunk. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All at each other's throats. Excuse me, they were their shoes. Would you not crowd me so much? Get your head off of mine. Could you nearly sleep on a train with all that chugging going along? Choking the air with the little head pump. I'm trying to get my defender off. Once you get enough of birth, it's the only thing they have. I tried. Uh, don't crowd so much. Don't keep pushing me like that. More room. Come on, you're choking. How the hell are they supposed to both sleep up there? In the 
Not a single bird. Did they talk about that in their life or were they really posh? I know Stan's British. Thank you for the person telling me that. Get your foot out of my face. And don't crowd. Can you quit crowding? Do they know they've got the most peaceful part of the train, considering what's going up on the other parts? Look out, my foot. Well, get your foot out of the way. Well, you could do that. Going to be there by the time they fall asleep. And give me that sheet over here. All out for Pottsville. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the poor conductor. <laughs> and couldn't let him get dressed. Let me fiddle. Where's the fiddle? 
<laughs> sure. Now, wait a minute now. Now, don't lose your temper. It was your fault that you put the thing under the, under the sea. I told you not to do it. Now, wait a minute now, will you? Hey, now, wait. <laughs> hey, hey. Ow. <laughs> it was okay, not the best. I don't know what that noise was. Let's sign out. Yeah, that wasn't the best episode. I think I'd put that below Bow Hunks. I would say that's probably the least funniest episode I've had so far. I mean, most of it were taken up of them getting undressed to get to bed. <laughs> I kind of had that going on too long, in my opinion. I suppose I couldn't think of anything else to write and they had to get something out quick. I don't know. <laughs> but did they talk posh in your life? Or did they talk like they do now? But it's like Lizzie Birdworth at a prisoner. She talks really common in the show, but she's really prim and proper in real life. It comes as a shock. I have seen the last home movie of, of Oliver Hardy and he looks so different with all that weight loss. I never heard him speak though so I don't, I don't know if he actually spoke posh or not. I have had quite a few comments about this and I appreciate every single one but letting me know that Stan level was British, something I never would have known. I always thought he was an American actor with uh, Oliver Hardy. I never would have known that so thank you very much. I love comments like that of things that I would not know. Things that probably can find online but I don't. <laughs> I try not to research much into these shows because I don't want to spoil anything. I read probably the first part of Wikipedia and that sometimes just spoils some stuff. Just the first part to get a gist of what I'm getting into. I don't know what shows people like, what shows people don't like so suggest any shows down below that you like and I'll look into getting them. If I can't get on YouTube, I'll put them on Daily Motion. If I can't get on Daily Motion, I'll have to put them on Patreon. So yes, if you haven't subscribed or followed to me so far, could I please ask you to do so? It would really help me out, honestly it would, on YouTube or Daily Motion. If you have, thank you ever so much. I really, really do appreciate it. I love you lots because you're helping me, you're helping the channel, and you're helping my mental health, honestly you are. And to my Patreon members get exclusive shows that I cannot remember what they all are, so they're here now in a box. <laughs> 8 per month right now going up to 12 per month later, later this year as well as a long running day coming at some point I can't promise that after this year but I'm going to try and get it out I need to get as far in front as possible with the shows and then the long running day is going to come and they also get ad free and uncensored early access as well to all my YouTube and daily motion shows so no bleeps, no blurs, nothing like that completely uncensored unless it's a triple X scene I used to say triple A for some reason, triple X, <laughs> because I can't really be putting those on Dropbox either or Patreon since they're against the rules and I don't react to those kind of shows, so please don't suggest them. So with that, I want to thank them because it is you that is bringing the content to me to allow me to bring the content straight back to you. Thank you all ever so much. I love you lots no matter what tier you are. So with that, I shall sign out now and move on to the next one and I hope to see you there. Goodbye.